<laughs> oh no. Oof. When it comes to staying safe online, knowing what to do and what to avoid can not only be confusing, it can sometimes feel plain overwhelming. No kidding. The truth is, it's impossible to keep up with every new scam or hoax that crops up each year. The good news is, you don't have to. By following these 10 tips, you can help keep yourself and your family safe from some of the biggest threats to your identity and finances. Five tips for identity safety. Don't open or click email links if you don't know the sender. Scammers sometimes use attachments and web links to hide dangerous malware, computer viruses that can affect your computer, gaining access to your files, passwords, even your identity. Unless you are sure you know who's sending the files or links through email, don't click on them. No worries. This email is from my buddy Mark. It must be safe. Don't be fooled by fake ID. Scammers are skilled counterfeiters. They can create official looking seals or company logos. They can even generate fake email addresses that mimic legitimate ones. Bottom line, just because it looks official on the surface doesn't mean it is. Look closely. You're right. Mark's email is markymark at dttc.edu, not markymark at dtcc.com. That was close. Don't share personal info with strangers. If someone has contacted you unsolicited, don't share personal info with them, ever. And especially never share your birth date, social security number, credit card numbers, or any banking information. Got it. But what if it's someone I met in an online business meetup? Do use caution when meeting someone online. Scammers can lurk online in places like Craigslist, LinkedIn, Meetup, Quib, and other social networking sites. They use social media and other sites to find targets, learn about them, and con them into trusting them. Use caution when dealing with online contacts. Let's see what we can find out about you. Taking a few minutes to vet connection requests can save you a lot of time and trouble later. No way. That guy didn't seem legit. That's why I like social media sites like Facebook or Twitter. They're much safer. Do use discretion when posting on social media. Social media can feel deceptively safe since most of the time you interact with friends and family. However, be aware that your privacy settings can sometimes change with new updates. Scammers search your online posts and pics to learn about you and then use that information to trick you into thinking they are your friend or family member. Bottom line, think before you post. Yep. Five tips for financial safety. Don't send money to strangers. Scammers often use email to trick you into sending them money. Lottery winnings require processing fee. Guaranteed loans by providing an advance fee a Nigerian prince who wants you to be his successor. Don't fall for it. If someone you don't know asks you to send a gift card, a wire transfer, or a prepaid debit card, just don't do it. Oh well. What? This rate is cheaper than what I've got now. It will save me and my family thousands. Don't fall for limited time offers. Scammers want you to act before you think, so they will try to convince you that something is scarce or that time is running out. Don't fall for their pressure tactics. When making a big financial decision, it's better to take time and seek advice. Good point. I'll ask my bank manager about this first. 
Thanks. Those poor people. Don't participate in online cash transactions. Scam artists are clever and sometimes tailor their scams to current events. They can pose as fake organizations to solicit money. If you are paying for goods, services, even taxes, make sure you use secure, traceable transactions. Never send cash or use prepaid money cards. Huh? They want a prepaid money card? Never mind. I'll see if I can find a local organization to donate to instead. Do use local businesses when you can. Buy local and support local organizations as often as you can. Working with local businesses that have proper identification, licensing, and insurance is a great way to ensure your money will be spent wisely. This group is just down the street from me, but is there another way I can be sure that they are legit? Do use secure websites for all online purchases. Whenever you spend money online, make sure the website is secure by checking for the HTTPS and the URL. The extra S stands for secure. Secure websites also have a lock icon in the address bar. While this doesn't always guarantee the site is secure, it is a very good sign that the organization is legitimate. Good to know. Hey, thanks for all your help. If you want to learn more about how to protect yourself, pause the video and copy these links.